Hey guys, so today I have a death and floral video for you guys. Um, I've been hearing a lot of stuff online about their bread note and I was very curious because I really liked a sample of their um, soft crunch of bread and bone. Um, I had that sample for, mm, I don't know, maybe I got it in like a swap in the very beginning when I barely started getting into indies and I had probably had it for around three years so I don't know how long it had been aging for but I just fell in love with it and that caused me to go down a rabbit hole and start looking at all of their uh, kind of more popular ones that people get that have like a bread note in them so this is, I got this order, I ordered three um, of the roller balls, and one of them is um, an extra strength one, so I'll get to that. Um, so I got them in January, so like the end of the month, January, like around the 23rd. So they've been resting or aging, you know, um, where today is Friday. February, uh, I think today is the 16th, so they've been resting, let's say for around maybe like a month, maybe less, so um, the first one I have is Texas Picnic, Texas Picnic looks like this, all their labels are super cool, I really like all their labels. Um, this one is not extra strength. It's just their regular roller ball. And this is their full size roller ball. So this one says it's a delightful Texas picnic with a fresh vase of jasmine on a red checkered blanket, soft orange blossoms, um, puffy honey cakes and delightful egg custard washed down with delicious boba tea. So you know what, I kind of noticed that a lot of these have tea notes, but okay. Um, this one, I picked this one. It was one of the more popular ones that people talk about online. And this one has that puffy honey cakes note. So it's like a, a bread note or like a cake note. Um, but I don't know if I would consider this like one of their bread scents because... This one is very floral, like on my skin when it was wet, I got like a floral uplifting kind of scent. Um, there's something like happy about it. Like, you know how certain scents are just like kind of mood boosting. This one has something like that in it, but with the floral aspect going on, like Think of like how when you smell orange, it kind of makes you like awake a little bit. It's kind of that same type of feeling with this one. Um, it's probably the jasmine that I smell the most, but um, I think it could also be like the tea, the boba tea that I'm smelling as well because there's something like uplifting and positive and it just smells not that much like it can be edible. Like it doesn't smell too gourmand. It smells more floral and a little bit more fresh floral. Um, so I don't think I would consider this part of like their, their bread notes that they have. I think they have a couple more, but I didn't want to buy like so many full size ones if I've never tried them before so I was kind of taking a risk on this one but um in the dry down this one turns to that honey cakes type of scent and it comes out more prominently in the dry down and I could smell it like a lot but the floral aspect still is there and it kind of overpowers it a little so I feel like that honey cakes is there in the background of like a jasmine type of scent 
in the dry down. So if you guys want some sort of the honey cake note in there, um, but you want it to be more floral, the Texas Picnic scent would be perfect for you. So that is Texas Picnic. That's that one. And then the next one I got, I had to get, um, I was very curious about their extra strength um, roller balls. So I did get the soft crunch of bread and bone. So that's this one. All their labels are pretty iridescent. I think they're so cool. But I did get this one and the extra strength. And I think it does last longer. I couldn't really tell the difference in like, let's say the scent bubble that you have. Like I could smell it on myself for four plus hours and that's a pretty longer amount of time in comparison to some of the other oils that I have that last like let's say like two hours before I have to reapply so I think with this one the longevity is good but I think like the throw and for someone to smell you from afar I'm not too sure about that because I've been going through a lot <clears throat> recently and which is why I haven't been posting but um my sense of smell has like gone up like I can smell everything a mile away. So I don't think I'm a good judge of the like a scent bubble right now. Maybe later, but um, I can smell everything. So I think that this, the extra strength, if you would want it for longevity, I think it is worth it. Like it definitely is longer lasting and as far as the scent it is said to have flaky coconut french madeleines um sifting sifting bakery air vanilla creme and crunchy macarons the last sip of green tea with a mysterious lover so this i smell the coconut flakes so much and um the vanilla, the bread, and the tea note are like super prominent too. Um, it's kind of like you walk into like a sweet, airy, pink bakery. Like I think of like a like a young girl that owns a bakery and she bakes, you know, pink desserts. <laughs> like, um, and then she also has like you can order boba tea or green tea or something like that as well in her bakery. I picture that when I smell this scent and it's just, it's very bready. It's very um, sweet coconut. It's just, I love it. It's very foody. If you guys are into like more food type of scents it is it's very foody and it for some reason smells a little bit like fresher and I think it's because of that green tea note you can you can smell it and then um as it dries down it gets more bready more coconutty but it mostly stays the same like you mostly get like all those notes like the green tea the bread you know but um it does it gets more like bready um flaky coconut bread like to me if if there was some sort of like coconut bread like a like a coconut croissant i don't know if they if you could make those but if there was some sort of like coconut croissant i think that's what this would smell like and it's one of my favorites and i'm so glad that i upsized and I got the bigger version because it just smells so good. And I I love this one. So that was the whole reason for this purchase. So that one is Soft Crunch of Bread and Bone. Okay, the next one that I got um, was Crunchy Baguette. Um, it's this one. Another cool iridescent label. Like all of these are just, I love their aesthetic. 
it's super awesome. Um, I saw this one a lot online too, and a lot of people were talking about it and people were asking like, what should I get? Should I still get the soft crunch of bread and bone and the crunchy baguette? And some people were like, it's redundant. Like you don't need to get both of them. Like, you know, but, um, this one, I think, well, let me read you the notes. So it says a sniff of warm bread at a bakery with sweet and savory breads in a cafe and a soft hint of coconut bonbons and fresh tarts. So this one is very similar to soft crunch of bread and bone, but it's coconut with bread, but without the tea note and it's more bread. It's more bready. It's more like the bread just came out of the oven, the croissants. And it's, I, I feel like it's like a little bit of a warmer type of scent in comparison to like the soft crunch of bread and bone where this, I saw it more uplifting and like pink and like a little fresher. This one is like a little warmer and a little darker. I guess like if you would want to use this one for like spring and summer, that would be perfect. And then this one would be for like the fall time. I think that would be like a good way to describe it. How you can use different scents at different time when the weather is colder. I would bring out this one because there is a slight hint of coconut there and it is a sweetness, but the bread is more prominent in this one. And I could see why people would say, you don't need both, they're, they're redundant, but like they are similar, but let's be real once you get real into all of these fragrances you have a fragrance for everything so even if it's missing one note you can have a purpose for it which is why i think this one would be good for like a fall time and it's very bready it's not as sweet and yeah i just see it more a little bit of a, a darker like this would be like let's say like a a coffee house or like a cafe that's like with like a dark academia vibe to it instead of soft crunch of bread and bone where it's like a pink bakery with like bright colors and coconutty and you know fresher yeah this is kind of like the the darker version but um I just think it's it is it's very similar but I, I really like this one too, so I'm not going to be getting rid of this one at all. Um, I would say that the ones that I got, those are the three bread notes that I got, but um, I would say that it has, the soft crunch of bread and bone still has to be my favorite one. I guess it is because of the, the green tea note there, but it would probably go soft crunch, and then crunchy baguette, and then uh, Texas picnic, just because I'm not into too many floral notes, like majority floral, and um, I really like the dry down of that one. I would just wish like it was like that throughout the whole scent experience. I wish I got more of the honey cakes, and it was like more forward instead so, of being in the back. Those were the three that I got. But they had um, their scent that they were giving out. I believe if you spent a certain amount or if you got like three rollerballs. I can't remember what the promotion was. But I was very curious about it. So I went ahead and made sure that I was able to get it. And this one is Famous Blue Raincoat. So their scent of the month looks like this. And it's iridescent as well and it's not a roller ball it's just in a bottle like this and it has just thing like that and uh, I've been seeing recently that there's like separation when uh, people order from death and floral I saw that like some people were like you know there's brown flakes in there and um, lots of times that comes from like the chocolate notes if they have any type of chocolate note in there they have on their also on their website and it says that you know sometimes stuff will separate but um you know it's normal but yeah there's no chocolate note in here so I just wanted to let you guys know that this one's clear so this one has um this is for their scent of the month December um 
This is the scent of an old typewriter, weathered blue fabric and static. I was very curious as to what that was gonna smell like. And to me, it smells a little mature at some points, but then it's kind of like, I'm confused about it. Like it's kind of like it wants to smell mature, but then it smells a little bit like old fabric and a little metallic and it's not a bad scent. This is more of like, I would say an experience that not a lot of people would want to go out and purchase, but I would see it still serving a purpose for someone because it's not, I don't think it's very feminine or masculine. I think it's very gender neutral and it's very, there's something like a little kind of like electric about it or I guess staticky about it since static is one of the notes um there's something there that's like metallic or I'm I'm smelling more of like an experience or like like a dream more than like I feel like I'm smelling a perfume like I'm trying to put this in like a situation that I've been in where I'm going to some place where this is what the room smells like. So when it dries down though, it gets a little spicy. Not food spicy, more electric or more like zingy. Like kind of like how ginger gives you that kind of like bite, but there's no herbalness in here. It's just, it's something that I can't I put my finger on but I guess they did a good job in capturing that static note because I guess I would describe it something staticky or something like electric or something like with a little like a little pop or a little like zing to it and this is very interesting um I give this a 10 out of 10 for creativity because I've never smelled anything like it and I'm just trying to think of like who would wear this, but I feel like there's plenty of people that would. Um, I just try to put my, my mind and think of like where this could probably be because I feel like this is like the capturing of a place, of how like a place smells like, like a, like a warehouse or you know, like a warehouse that has, you know, dust and it just got like electrocuted. So there's kind of like a hum in the air and everything's kind of like a little dusty, a little old. There's like ink places. Um, I don't know. I picture like that type of place when I think of this scent. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, um, I really think this is very interesting. So those are all of the scents that I have today. Um, I'm going to have some other videos too that I'm going to upload. Um, so just be patient with me. I know I haven't posted in a while, but I'm going to get back into the rhythm of things. So um, until next time, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me know that you guys like what I'm doing and, you know, um, if you guys want to see anything else for me to review, just let me know. And thanks a lot. Bye.